guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. guys um, here's Madame OK and today I want to show you how to work on abstract painting and we will call it objective abstraction since we will use an image that will become our reference for the abstract painting. I already created one example how to do it using exactly the same image and this time I want to show you another approach to it. So, so we still will use palette knife, last the postcard onto the side so that we won't be distracted with the particular image. We just will see the shapes of colors. This time I will move it on the other side and um, that's our reference. So let us start by applying um, the first layer and uh, my palette will change from the last one. Uh, through this that I added uh, more of, or not more, that I used um, yellow ochre instead so much of the buff color. And I will go for the shape that represents the mountain. Um, you can, if you want to, I can create the shape, uh, but I don't think it's necessary. You can really simply go right away into the painting part. And again, I love the uh, pagoda here um, that is painted. It gives such a nice contrabalance to the those uh, beautiful um, uh, organic lines. But for my painting, I think it would be better when I will create kind of triangle that moves on the diagonal line. So this fantastic color called yellow ochre on oxide yellow will be our base for the mountain yet. Remember, this will not look like a mountain once we have uh, all those colors applied. And we will also manipulate with the positioning of those shapes. Like you see right now, from one shape, we got into, into two shapes with the third one in the center. So I'm really um, applying the paint by using palette knife because it's, it's a very nice uh, way uh, of working. With the brushes, um, we'll probably be using the heavy brushes, like bristle brushes, we'll see the strokes visible, while with palette knife, I can decide if I want to see the strokes, if I want to create the texture. So it gives me more versatility. And um, especially for the kind of abstract painting that I want to create here with the ridges, I do will I will appreciate using palette knife. And I will show you, in difference to the other painting, how we can additionally create a certain uh, pattern inside of our shapes. So this will be a base for the shape that supposed to represent the mountain or initially. Now, um, I will use a little bit of the permanent rose color that I will mix with a slight of yellow ochre or oxide yellow. And then I get this very pleasant, pleasantly looking uh, pink color. And I will try to mix the color so that I will not have white streaks in it. Well, with palette knife, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult when you want to be very spontaneous because then it's always the paint is not perfectly mixed. But you see how nice those two colors look one place one next to another. I do like it very much. And I also don't mind some of the streaks of yellow ochre. Uh, it would be very different when the color would be white. That could look a little bit on the chalky side. With yellow ochre in the pink color, we don't have the same feel. So you see, I've tried to create a very heavy ridge right there where um, those two colors or two shapes of colors meet. And this is something what I will be looking for to create in other parts as well. Oh la la, you see, we have some happy, like not, this is not a happy accident, just a waste of paint when it moved on the side. And then now this lululu, I'm going right away to the edges. So first covering, well, the parts here. And I want to encourage you to use canvas. For me, they are the small studies or exercises that I to show you the technique. Um, however, 
if I would make a painting for myself, I certainly would use canvas. Color. I need to have more of the pink on my permanent rose, and that's what I will be doing. I like what is happening here. Very, very much heavy texture. Now I want to go to the other side here. And maybe I want to introduce a little bit of red. See, I'm really eager to slightly change the color. Like this. And again, palette knife allows me to really manipulate with the way how the paint will be applied. If I want to have a texture, if I don't want to have texture, and so on, so on. Okay. Even when I have like a blob of paint that um, it looks like a skin, you call it, when the paint is dry. I still can nicely, since it's acrylic, incorporate it in my painting and um, make a use of it. See, like here, what I'm doing, I'm just bringing some of this beautiful red into it. It's a cadmium red. Now I'm thinking about the color. Maybe even I will cross a little bit of the space with the red there in the, in the center on the diagonal line. So this is the shape that breaks the monotony of the of the big shapes representing, well, at least on the postcard, sky, mountain, and the canopies of the trees. Ooh la la, this is quite good. Oh, I like the thickness. I really, I'm really happy that we decided to use palette knife for this project. If you want to embed some objects, you are more than welcome to do it. Now, on the other side, okay, I still want to use the make pink, which is the permanent rose mixed with a little bit of yellow ochre. And then we are going into this direction to meet with the red. And then we will have fine to make some adjustments and creating the pattern, which I'm very keen to use in this sample. So now we work for the interesting pattern and still some of the colors. So I have my beautiful brown and black. And again, I will be looking, again, I do want to bring the space. So I'm bringing it in the center. Ooh la la. Okay, what's happening? Not perfectly even because I do want to see the red. That was the purpose why I put it there, right? <laughs> like this, ooh la la, look at this really breaking the space and now using my brown i will create the pattern inside of this particular shape yes and then i can also bring a little bit more of my yellow ochre into it and i create a strange pattern And then I can introduce some other colors. So for example, my beautiful pink can come and add to the painting's beauty. Ooh la la. Uh -huh. So you see, everything gets nicely unified. This is when you control, that gives you the control, perfect one, of what is going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's quite nice. Now I need to have a little bit of the brown here by the edge. So again, now I divert from the image. I'm just looking here yeah, to making sure that you really all the colors work for me, all those shapes, all those breaks that I apply here. Maybe now some of the white can come as well. But the white has to, as you can see, has this artificial look, so we have to mix it with the paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this part looks so quiet and good, so it's not busy. Let our eyes to relax a little bit. So now, I like what is going on with the shapes. Yeah. I improvising because there's not another way. I'm just looking at what is going on in my painting and I think, okay, how to create this nice um, balance, okay? So until I'm not happy with the balance, I'm not, I'm, I'm still working, okay? See, that has to be something that really you will think it's, it's completed. And we can also go a little bit more here. 
like this and look at those all different shapes mm -hmm. this is a crazy painting i like it like this and since i like i don't like to waste the paint and i have quite a bit of it here I'll bring some of it i think it will be okay in this black so you have this nice line i'm not so sure if i like it so much but i oh that's a nice effect look at this then a little bit of it here and then certainly certainly a little bit more on this side so bringing the swirl so it's a different way of how we work on the first painting this is more organic let's say okay you can see wow and then for the balance because remember it can't be just busy it can't be just super quiet we have to find the balance in that so that means it has to be yin and yang it could be one force can be dominant but then the other one has to be also present okay this would be okay see like this and then something has to also happen in this part here so now it's fine but i need to bring it there oh yeah quite nice the last touches and that will be i have to clean up my palette knife just mix the last combination of the colors that i have very nice red and mix it mix it if i get one even color and now with this color i will come here so it like this oh this that looks really good Ooh, look at this our beautiful painting is done so guys i hope you enjoyed the process with me and now you are ready to paint an abstract painting so have a good day good work and have lots of lots of fun see you next time bye